Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up a fishing pole. Begin by joining the sections of the rod together. We'll take the bottom section and join it into the top section. Simply inserting one end into the other and making sure that it fits nice and firm. Now, next we'll also want to make sure that all of the guides are in perfect alignment throughout the entirety of the rod. Now we're ready to attach our reel. We'll take the reel and simply insert it into the reel seat on the fishing rod. Screw down until it is attached firmly in place. Now that we have our reel attached, we can go ahead and thread the line throughout the rod and begin the rigging process. What I like to do is make sure that the fishing line is running through the roller on the reel and your drag is set nice and loose. This will help eliminate any tangles that you may get uh, during this process. Now simply feed the line through each of the guides on the fishing rod. Now that we have the line threaded through the rod, we can go ahead and attach our terminal tackle. We're going to keep this really simple here and just attach a hook to the end of our line. We'll simply thread the line just like you would a needle through the eyelet of the hook and pull it back on itself. At this point, we're gonna hold the hook between our forefinger and our thumb. Pull out about six inches of that line and wrap that around your thumb and the main line three times. Now, this is one of the simplest knots there is to tie in all of fishing, and yet it is also one of the strongest and most reliable. So once we have those three loops, we'll go ahead and take that last little section of line, thread it back through the loops, going in the direction of the main line, and cinch that down, and then pull the main line until that knot comes in contact with the hook. At this point, we can go ahead and uh, remove any excess line. So once we've done that, we'll go down about oh, 12 inches, you can go 12 to 18 inches, um, at which point you want to attach uh, your weights. And we're just gonna use some simple split shot weights here. We'll just simply clamp those onto the line. We're gonna attach two of them in this instance. Now you can uh, use as much or as little weight as you want. It's really just dependent on the bait that you're gonna be casting, how far you wanna cast it, and how securely you want it to stay on the bottom. Now that we have our rod all set up, our hooks attached, our weights are on, it's simply a matter of selecting your favorite bait that you think may work in your area and proceed to catching some of the fish that are hanging out in that water. So I hope you found this how-to video helpful. And if you did, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And for more fishing related videos, you can click on the link right up here.